and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhar. Let's look at today's top headlines. NMC gives deadline to FMG candidates applying for eligibility certificate. The NMC is currently accepting online applications from candidates who are planning to take the FMGE. This exam is a mandatory screening test conducted by the National Board of Examinations. The notification, which has been authorized by Dr. Vijaya Lakshmi Nag, a member of the Ethics and Medical Registration Board of the NMC, invites FMGE aspirants to apply for eligibility certificates for the upcoming session. According to Section 13.4b of the Indian Medical Council, Act 1956 and Clause 4.2 of the Screening Test Regulation 2002, individuals who are Indian nationals or overseas citizens of India and intend to pursue an MBBS or equivalent course in a foreign medical university must obtain an eligibility certificate from the NMC before departing from the country. It is important to note that individuals holding a primary medical qualification are not allowed to participate in the FMGE screening test unless they have obtained the required eligibility certificate from the MC. Doctors can refuse to treat unruly patients and those patients who don't pay displayed fees. Over a year after putting its draft code of conduct in the public domain, the NMC finally, through a Gazard notification, has notified the NMC Registered Medical Practitioner Regulations 2023. These regulations prescribe a code of ethics mandatorily to be adopted by every practitioner of modern medicine who is registered under the NMC Act and is practicing in the country. The National Medical Commission Registered Medical Practitioner RMP Regulations 2023 will replace the erstwhile Medical Council of India's MCI Code of Medical Ethics 2002. These new regulations have been enforceable since 2nd of August 2023, the date of its publication in the official Gazette. One of the salient features that stand out from the Code of Conduct for the first time is the right of refusal as per which the doctors can now refuse treatment to the unruly and violent patients. In such cases, the doctors have been told to follow a procedure of properly documenting and reporting the said violence, the refusal and referral of the patients to other health facilities. Sexual assault victim to be taken to hospital within 24 hours of order on pregnancy terminations and high court. The Delhi High Court has issued a set of instructions for authorities and doctors when handling pregnant survivors of sexual assault, as observed in the case of Nawal Thakur versus the state. Justice Rana Kanta Sharma emphasized that even if the pregnancy is less than 20 weeks along, the IO should ensure that the survivor is brought to the relevant hospital superintendent for medical termination of pregnancy within 24 hours of the order being issued. Furthermore, the court mandated that the attending doctor must oversee the proper preservation of the fetus and ensure that the survivor is not discharged hastily. Celebrities and influencers mandated to include disclaimers while endorsing health and wellness products. Celebrities and influencers who portray themselves as health experts or medical professionals are now required to include clear disclaimers when making health-related assertions. Similarly, medical practitioners and health and fitness experts must disclose their certification details when endorsing products, services or making health-related statements. The government has introduced these mandatory measures in its additional influencer guidelines for health and wellness celebrities, influencers and virtual influencers. The Ministry of Consumer Affairs stated that these added requirements were developed through discussions with various stakeholders, including the health and IUSH ministries, as well as organizations like the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India and the ASCI. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.